How's it going everybody and I'm finally back with another video and I know it's been a while but anyways in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build or how I built and modified my own electric scooter so let's get started Okay, so to start off, this scooter is going to be based on just your typical electric scooter and we're going to be using its frame that we've also modified a bit to make a really unique, one-of-a-kind electric scooter. Okay, so we have all the parts that we need in order to assemble the frame of this particular electric scooter. So we need everything like the motor, wheels, handlebars, the brakes, suspension, and of course the main parts of the frame itself, and so on. So guys, welcome to part one of this series of videos and in this part, we're going to be focusing on assembling the frame of our electric scooter. Okay, so here's the middle part of the frame, and I'll start by installing the steering bar and its bearings into it. Alright, so now that we have the bearings installed, it's always a good idea to lubricate them and then give them a few spins so that we get really smooth steering in the end. Okay, so now let's go ahead and assemble the front wheel which just bolts on the axle and then this whole thing can slide into the steering bar. Alright, so as you can see the wheel spins freely and now I'm gonna slide it into the steering bar which is keyed so it only goes in the right way. After that the front wheel assembly can be secured to the steering bar using a screw and a bolt. Alright, so now that we're done with the front, let's start assembling the rear part of the frame. So I'll start by bolting the motor on the frame and you really want to make sure that you get the bolts as tight as you can because you really don't want the motor to ever get loose from the frame. Ok, 
Okay, so now that we're done bolting the motor, I'm gonna start installing the rear wheel, which again bolts on the axle, but this time we also need to bolt on the rear drum brake alongside with the wheel on the axle. Alright, so you can see here that in my case, I need to get the belt into the motor before installing the back wheel in order to be able to connect the wheel to the motor afterwards because if I install the back wheel before getting the belt in, then I won't be able to get the belt in afterwards. Okay, so now this whole thing simply slides into a frame and we obviously need to tie in all of its bolts afterwards. Okay, so now we need to get the belt on and then you want to take your time to adjust everything and to ensure that the belt is well tensioned. Alright, so now I'm going to install the kickstand, which simply bolts on with two screws. Okay, so now I need to get the rear suspension on, which just simply bolts on from the bottom and the top. Alright, so now it's finally time to hook up the rear part of the frame with the main part, which can just bolt right on, but again, you really want to make sure you get the bolt as tight as you can, because you probably don't want this whole thing to ever snap in half while riding. Okay, so now let's start installing the handlebars. So in my case, this piece slides into the steering bar and then the handlebars could just bolt onto it. Now it's time to get the seat on, which just simply clamps on the frame. Alright you guys, so with that, we have put together the main frame of our electric scooter, and in the next video, we're going to be turning our attention to installing the batteries and all the wiring harnesses. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and guys stay tuned for part 2 of this series as it will be coming out very soon. See you in the next video.